Ladies and gentlemen, they are here. That's right, the graphic novel and the leather-bound edition of Shadowversity's book, Shadow of the Conqueror. That's right, this is the graphic novel edition, and we're going to be talking about the quality of this book today. Now, if you guys are interested in the review that I did for this, I did it about a year ago because I was sent a PDF copy by Mike S. Miller, and you guys can check out my spoiler-free thoughts on this book, and I will leave that link somewhere. It'll pop up on the screen. You'll see it. And before I get into the review, I want to give a very special thank you to a subscriber of mine. His name's Kiko Mon. He is actually the one that purchased these for me and sent these to me. Uh, and I am so unbelievably grateful to Kiko Mon. We need more Kiko Mons in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And if you guys like what I talk about here today in this short quality review of the book, because I've already done the actual review of the story, uh, please do me a favor like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. So the first things first, guys, this is a leather bound. This is solid. This thing, I feel, if stored correctly, will absolutely last forever. And we'll get into more of the reasons that I believe that. Now, one of the things that I noticed, because I've had this in my basement for a few weeks now, my basement is very, very humid, and I don't have the way to properly store things, and so there is some warping in my basement. I actually have quite a few books over here that are already warping because of the humidity in my basement. And I am actively working to try and fix that issue. So that way, pieces like this that look beautiful can stay beautiful forever. <clears throat> Overall, when you open up the book itself, the paper quality is insane. This is some seriously heavy gauge paper. I was very impressed with that. That is definitely something that I was not expecting to have paper of that thickness. I, I mean, I'm not a paper guy, but for those of you who maybe know paper better than I do, you guys might be able to speak to that. Okay. The binding, when I opened up the book to test the quality of it, the binding didn't give way, right? The binding is very, look at that. Look at that. I'm folding it all the way over and you can see that the binding is very much holding. Let's get a better shot of that. And they obviously did beautiful, beautiful golden edges here on the edges of the paper. The book itself obviously has indentations all around. But one more thing that I will talk about that worries me, especially living in the humid climate that I live in, is the decal here of Dalis the Conqueror. Okay, uh, this is a decal that fits into the inlays on the front of the book, and it is gorgeous. Um, I can feel some of the edges of the decal here, and what worries me about that living in the climate that I live in is that if I'm not able to solve the issue of the humidity, that this decal may start to peel over time. Now that's something to think about if you're building a collection and you want to keep it nice. You want to try to keep these things in somewhat of a dry area. And again, I'm working to fix that. Uh, but that would be the one thing. And obviously you wouldn't be able to color leather like this. And so they opted for a decal. Maybe you can color leather like this, but Lord knows who knows how to do that. And Lord knows if that's even possible. <clears throat> But overall, the quality of this and what Shad worked on, and I've talked with Shad uh, about all of the issues that went into getting these things to this level and sent out to everybody, This it, it, it's, it's insane what he went through. But the quality of this speaks to that time, effort, and energy that these guys put into this book. Um, and I know that he is planning on doing more books in the future. And um, I, I am unbelievably grateful to Kikomon for, for picking this up for me uh, because the price point on these is, is quite high. But again, being limited runs like this, Shad being a small guy trying to get a, a smaller book producer trying to get these printed, I'm just blown away at the quality of this. The only issues that I have with the quality of this book is that... I need to find a proper way to store it so that way the book itself can last. But that's on me. What I received in the package is unbelievably fantastic. And one of the things, too, it's got that leather-bound book smell. I love that, God. Mm, yep, I just did a smell test. I don't even care. It smells like a freaking leather-bound book. I love it, guys. And hopefully you guys will go and check out 
Shadow of the Conqueror, and when he releases another one, maybe this will be a review to be like, is it actually going to be good quality? Guys, it's really good quality. Maybe this will be the review that will tell you to go out and buy the Leatherbound editions. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, because I do a live stream every single Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee, and it's at 11 a.m. Central, and I read all of the comments. So let me know what you guys think about this Leatherbound graphic novel. And whether or not you guys think this is something that you'd like to see more of. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, cheers, everybody.